are doomed, Professor Gordon. The planet is rushing madly toward the Earth, and no human power can stop it. You're right, Hensley. It's only a question of time. Soon the Earth will be smashed to atoms. I wonder why we don't hear from Zarkov. I still believe in his theory. Ridiculous. Zarkov is mad. His theory is fantastic. He'll never reach the planet in that rocket ship. Any news? Yes, the whole world is in a state of frenzy. Read these. Pardon. For me? Thank you. Why? It's from my son, Flash. He gave up his polo cane just in time to catch the transcontinental plane, hoping to be here with us before the end. Proximity of the wild planet, disturbing the atmosphere. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are trying to make a landing, but we can't tell what might happen. You are privileged to bail out now, if you wish. You'll find a parachute on every seat. We were ordered to bring them aboard this morning in anticipation of any trouble. That's it. Okay, bail out. <laughs> again sometime. Ah, strange looking country. Come on, we'll have to hitch another ride. What's that? A rocket ship. A rocket ship? Yeah. Some fool trying to fly to Mars. Stop. Stay where you are. I'm sorry if we're intruding. The parachutes on particular where they set you down. Who are you? Well, I didn't have time to drop a calling card. This is Miss... Uh... Dale Arden. Nice name. And I'm Flash Gordon. Gordon? Gordon? Professor Gordon's son? Yeah, that's right. And that rocket ship makes you Dr. Zarkov. Yes. Your father sent you here to stop me. Stop you for what? My friend, the Earth is doomed to destruction. <laughs> I know. My father... Your father thinks I'm mad. They all do. But I know there's a way to save it. I'm sure the planet rushing upon us is inhabited. It is also intensely radioactive. If I can reach it in my rocket ship, I may be able to control its power and divert it from its course towards the Earth. Well, it's worth trying. For hours I've waited for my assistant, but he has turned coward. I need a man to help me. Will you go? It's the only chance to save the Earth. A chance, all right. I'll bet on a long shot with you. When do we start? At once. There's no time to lose. What about Miss Dale? We've got to get her to a place of safety. There's no place of safety, officer. All right, then we'll take her with us. No. Oh, please take me with you. All bets are off. In that case, we'll take her. Sure this thing will work? I have experimented with models. Ah. They ever come back? They weren't supposed to. 
Hold on. We're taking off. Look through the telescope. We'll soon be there. We're safe. We just passed the death zone. Death zone? Yes. Zone devoid of any force. It was the only thing I feared. Well, that's something. In a short time, we'll land on the planet. Hey, but we can't land at this terrific speed. I prepared for that. A counter-magnet engaged at the proper moment will break the speed and bring us down safely. Desolate. Yes. But that city proves it's inhabited. We must go there at once. We're losing valuable time. This planet may crash into the Earth at any moment. Yes. Well, what about the rocket ship? I have it securely locked. Good. Yeah. Come on, quick, Doctor! Looks like there's gonna be a fight. Ghastly monsters! It's lucky those two pets are mad at each other. Look, Flash! Using rays. Are they dead? No doubt about it. Let's find out who they are. Up! 
the earth people. Was there any resistance? No, your majesty, except from the blonde giant. my kingdom to save you from your folly your meaning your planet is rushing madly toward the earth from which we came a collision can mean only the destruction of both there will be no collision i control absolutely the movement of this planet and i will destroy your earth in my own way why destroy the earth why not conquer it? Why not? How did you enter my kingdom? In a rocket ship of my own design. You are a remarkable man. I can use you. Take him to the laboratory, give him everything he requires except his freedom. Duck the girl to me. Your eyes, your hair, your skin. I've never seen one like you before. Ah, you are beautiful. You keep your slimy hands off her, and you grab him! into the arena. A bargain, Father. If he survives, he's mine. Yeah. Stop. Throw him into the arena.
fights well, the Earth Man. He shall not escape the pit. No, Father, not that. Prisoners of them both. Take her to the palace. Are you all right? Yes, I'll be all right. What's that? The dragon of death. How did this net get here? My father. Boy, sure is lucky for us. We've got to get out of here before the guards come. How? The secret door. Come on, come on. Does my workshop compare favorably with those on Earth, Dr. Zorkov? There is no comparison, Your Majesty. This is a scientist's paradise. But what has become of my friends from the Earth? Do not worry. They are being cared for. Of energy here is great enough to conquer the universe. Which I intend to do with your aid, Sarkov. in here until I've talked with my father. No, no, I'm going with you. I've got to find out what happened to Dale. Please. You would only do great harm. I alone can save her. You will never see 
see Dale Arden again. refuses to obey your royal command. She refuses to become my bride? Yes, your majesty. As high priest, you know what to do. You mean the dehumanizer? Exactly. But there is grave danger. Not if you see to it that the hypnotic spell lasts only long enough for you to perform the marriage ceremony. Science will overcome all things, even the human emotions. Ships of the Lion Men are coming to attack us. Gallant pilot single-handed speeds to my defense. He is a brave man. And will be royally rewarded if he lives through this fight. Order out the rest of the fleet to help him. Why do you not slay me? But only to save my friends, who are prisoners in Ming's palace. Then you're not an ally of Ming's. I'll say I'm not. You've been trying to kill me ever since I landed here. I am Thun, Prince of the Lion Man. Ming is also my enemy. And I'm Flash Gordon from the Earth. You have spared my life. I will help you free the prisoners of whom you speak. I'll need plenty of help. Thanks. Ming is 
merciless and all-powerful. He can only be taken by surprise. You'll be surprised, all right. Come, I will show you a secret passage that leads to the palace. What has become of Flash Gordon? Please. You will never see the Earth Man again. But you will not miss him. Soon you will forget him forever. Take us to Dr. Zarkov, scientist from the Earth. The Earth Man in the laboratories. I cannot. Better do what he asks. In the ceremony, the term of the god Teo is favorable to the marriage. Flash! I didn't know what they had done to you. Oh, I'm all right. This is Thun, a friend. Flash! The course of this planet has been changed. The Earth will not be destroyed. Ah, that's fine. Where's Dale? Ning has ordered her prepared for some ordeal. The High Priest came here to report to Ming, and I believe that Ming is going to force Dale to become his wife. Well, we've got to find her at once! What does that mean? What does that mean? Tell me! Uh, all right. Follow me. What's that? It is the Oracle, deciding the marriage. Where will this marriage ceremony be held? In a secret chamber underground. Take me there. I can. It's guarded by huge beasts. Take me there! I will go with you. And I. Thun and I will go. You stay here. Dale may need you. I'll lead you to the tunnel, but shall not enter. God Tao sanctions your marriage to the Earth Girl. Let us proceed with my marriage ceremony first. Then we will see about your Earth Man God. Why have you left the laboratories? Permit me, Your Majesty, to congratulate you on your coming marriage. Mm. Perhaps you would like to attend. Thirteenth stroke of the sacred gong, the wedding ceremony will be completed. Thun. Thun that gong. That means the marriage ceremony is underway. Oh! 
ray gun, sir. It came in handy. Are you hurt, Flash? No, I'm all right, thanks to you. That gong. We've got to stop it. It's our only chance to save Dale. Come on! Not the sacred gong sound the final note which completes the marriage ceremony. The great god Teo is displeased. Destroyed our great god tail. Coward, did you not hear my father's command? They're fleeing into the passage that leads to the underground river. You have ordered their death? No, Dr. Zarkov. Death will not come to them so easily. Controls at once. All right, take her away. I can handle them. What do you want to know? Tell me! Well, they went that way. You're concerned about your friends? Who are you? What will you give to save them? My life. I am Prince Baron, real ruler of Mongo. I was dethroned when a child by Ming the Merciless, who killed my father. A scientist of your genius can aid me in overthrowing Ming. But in the meantime, what are my friends? I will save them. The price. The allegiance of you and your friends. I've hoped for this moment since I learned of your arrival on Mongo. My rocket ship is waiting to rescue your friends. Come. Deadly enemies. I hope they haven't seen us. King Valton is an ally of my father, the Emperor Ming. That doesn't make them our friends. Come, quickly. Yeah. Son, take the girls away! Don't worry, he'll be all right.
done is taken care of them. This is Prince Baron, our newfound friend and sympathizer. You came just in time. Laura, where's Dale? She and Thun have been carried off by the Hawkman. We've got to find them in one. No, there isn't a chance. King Bolton's palace is in the sky. My rocket ship's at your disposal. Come on. His Majesty, King Bolton. She is recovering, sir. What has been done with the lion man who was captured with her? Oh, he was revived and sent to the atom furnace, as Your Majesty ordered. Inform his majesty. ship is approaching. Destroy it with a melting ray. Can't you see I'm busy? Be gone. Lock those doors. What's wrong, Baron? We're nearing the gravity rays of King Bolton's city. Bolton orders you to stop it with the melting ray. What was that? A melting ray from Bolton's defense gun.
They're trying to destroy us. Then we're doomed. We certainly are if the ray hits the ship. Our resisto force will soon be exhausted by the power of those melting rays. gravity-defying rays that support the sky city. And we're safe? As King Bolton's prisoner, our chances are slim. We are better acquainted. Get off of me. You decline the honor of becoming my queen? I did not know your highness was in the ship. My father will send an army to destroy you and your entire city. Not while I hold his beautiful daughter hostage. He would dare to make me a prisoner? Shall we say, uh, yes? <laughs> so you're the Flash I've heard so much about. Yes, I'm the fellow. What about it? I need a strong man like you. Prince Perrin, welcome. Who is the elderly Earthman? Dr. Zarkov, a great scientist, Your Highness. I have need for a great scientist. Guard, take Dr. Zarkov to my laboratory and remove his bonds. And the strong young man to the furnace room, where he will be kept warm. You can't do this, Your Majesty. 
No? Maybe you do not wish to be separated from your friend. You shall go with him. Release those men, Bolton, or I'll... Don't annoy me. Guard, take them away. any trace of my daughter of the earth people? Yes, your majesty. We discovered a hawk man who had been injured in a fight with the earth man, Gordon. He told us that Chris Thun and the earth girl had been taken as prisoners to King Bolton's city. Where Bolton, no doubt, will compel the earth girl to marry him. It is a habit of his. But what are the others? The Princess Aura and Flash Gordon were found by Dr. Zarko and Prince Baron. Baron, eh? I thought that treacherous pretender would interfere. They have gone in pursuit of the others in Prince Baron's rocket ship. Prepare my rocket fleet at once. We will go to the sky city of Bolton and teach him a needed lesson. You do not eat, my little duck. Not hungry? And you don't enjoy my entertainers. Solomon. thinking of the earth man. Oh, no, your majesty. She confessed to me she liked you very much. Is that not true? Yes, your majesty. Just as I told you, Bolton, the earth woman finds the men of Bongo more attractive than the men of her own planet.
cannot escape. Come, I'll show you. No matter what you see, don't betray your feelings. If anyone moves, you'll all be destroyed. It's no use, Flash. Get back. No use. She is faint. She did not eat enough dinner. Come, take her to the throne room. Mathis, he orders you to the furnace room at once. You will need that coil of wire. Bring it along. Off. His mattress is way of dealing with an unruly sleeve. The wire will be attached to a high voltage circuit. And if you should attempt to escape, a switch will be thrown and you will be electrocuted instantly. to him for your defiance. Oh, Emperor Ming is coming. Bring in the Earth Girl. It's become hard to handle since we put Flash Gordon among them. Darko, Flash. Listen, I'm going to take this wire and attach it to the handle of a shovel. There, get me a shovel. What for? When the time comes, you throw the shovel into the atom furnace. Remember, once you have thrown the shovel, Lives depend on you reaching the shelter of this lead wall. He knows of his next break. 
We'll electrocute them. We'll get them shorter rest periods. That'll break them. Thanks, Doc. people by right belong to me. It should not be necessary for me to compel you to give them up. Don't anybody move or I'll run this through you. What now of the great power of which you boast, mighty mean? This continuous interference annoys me. been destroyed. The bees which support the city are dying out. But I have discovered a new ray which will save the city. Use it at once. I will, on one condition, that you give my friends their liberty. Your friends shall be freed. Wear it. I do by the great god Teo. Come to the laboratory. shall not be kept. I have sworn by Teo. My word is good. The emperor of the universe, it is my right to call a tournament of death. And the earth man will have to enter it. But if he survives, I hold you to his right. Liberty, a kingdom of his own, and the bride of his choice. Yes. If he survives. I will order the tournament to commence at once. Where's 
my weapon. Your weapon will be presented to you at the arena of death. There you will combat the mighty masked swordsman of Mongo. You may go. Them begin. swordsman and old Mongo. <laughs> You'll have to be the best to win from the earth. I'm sorry, Flash. I was forced in with this. I might have killed you. Oh, your champion was Prince Barrett. Clever trap, Ming. But the Earth Man won. Three days hence, I will give these gallant warriors their freedom and the right to choose their brides. Let there be no trickery, Ming. Or by Teo, there shall be a new Emperor of Mongol. Have my fleet prepared at once for immediate departure. Permit me to wish you a happy journey. Well, aren't you going with us? I must return to my own kingdom. I care not to enter the palace of my enemy, Emperor Ming. I hope we meet again. I feel it we shall. that we're back in my own domain, I shall assume control of the situation. I'm so glad to see you're all right again, Flash. Yes, sir. All ready for the big day tomorrow. I've been afraid since we came back here. I don't trust me. Oh, now, don't be silly. Do you think they can see us? This planet of Mongo? I feel sure they can. <laughs> and that these sounds are contact waves from the Earth. I haven't been able so far to eliminate the distortion. But we'll not rest until I have. Then we will be in direct communication with the Earth. Hello. Zarko. Dr. Zarkov speaking, from Mongo, the planet Mongo. I will not rest until I get a message through. 
But even that won't take us back to the Earth. Zarkov brought us here, Dale, and he'll do all he can to get us back, won't you, Doc? I'll do my best. The Earthman garden must be removed, secretly and definitely. It shall be done, Your Majesty. Remember, it is either he or you. The choice should not be difficult. Please stop worrying, Dale. But I can't help it. I'm the one who should do the worrying. Oh, I know, Flash, but... Now listen. Suppose the girl I should choose for my bride tomorrow turns me down. Then what? Be all right. Now come on. How dare you spy on me? To help you, my princess. You've been sent by me. You have no wish to help me. You misjudge me. May I remind your royal highness, it was I who told you how the sacred Aragapoid might be slain. But I know my father plans the Earthman's death. He will force you to execute his plans. The Earthman's absolute absence would be welcomed by Emperor Ming. But that does not mean that the Earthman must be destroyed. Your meaning? You might persuade Gorg to forsake this Earthwoman and go with you to the sacred palace of Teo, where you may live in happiness. But the only way to the sacred palace lies through the tunnel of terror. The fire monster would never let us pass. At the mystic hour of midnight, the fire monster will be fast asleep, and nothing but the sacred gong can arouse him. I promise you the gong will not ring. But the Earth Man would never consent to go with me. These, mixed in wine, the first will produce a death-like sleep lasting for two hours. This one, give him when he awakens will bring absolute forgetfulness and erase all memory of the past. Then he will not remember me. True. You will be the first woman he shall see. And when he opens his eyes and beholds your beautiful face... The past will not stand between us. Why does the High Priest of Mongo do all this for me? To win your favor, my princess, I feel I may need it to regain the good graces of your most worthy father. I think I'll go to the laboratory and try to make radio contact with the Earth. Good. If you get anything, be sure and call me, no matter what time it is. I'll be glad to, Flash. Prospect of choosing a bride unnerve you? No, the choice will be easy. It's just that I don't trust Emperor Ming. Nor do I. You understand what to say? Yes, Your Highness. Come in. Majesty King Bolton, that the night may pass swiftly. Fine, set it there. You know, sure wish King Bolton was head man around here.
Sent the wine. It's King Vault. I sent no wine. A trick. The wine was drugged. I asked Dale if she seen Flash. since last evening. Is this yours? No. And it can belong to only one other. Princess Aura. I hope it doesn't belong to Princess Aura. But we'd better ask her. Who brought us the wine? Who sent that wine? Dragon will kill it. You must go after them. No, you must not. It's no a more. great danger. No more than here. Come, we cannot waste any time. Are you sure the fire dragon will not molest us? Perfectly sure. Your royal highness can trust her humble servant. You must be quiet. Here, take this. When he awakes, he will have entirely forgotten the past. Dragon. He sleeps, therefore we can pass. Are you sure? Yes, my princess. Nothing but this gong can awaken. You're being followed by a party, headed by Prince Baron. Your earth man is rescued. My head will be forfeited. We must go on. Start! my emperor. Yeah. 
the fire dragon that guards the secret palace of the great god Tail. Given a powerful drug. We have to take him back to the palace. I can revive him, but I can't promise to destroy the effects of the drug. They have taken Fleisch to the laboratory. If you allow Zarkov to restore his memory, he will take Dale Arden from you. This earth man has disturbed the affairs of my empire too long. I have spared his life only for your sake. Officer, you will seek out Flash Gordon at the laboratory, and when you find him, execute him at once. Yes, Your Majesty. You can't do that. He belongs to me. You have your orders. What are you waiting for? Dr. Zarkov calling. From Mongol. The planet Mongol. Zarkov. Try again. It's no use. I'll have to increase the energy before I can contact them. He's blinking. know you. Of course I know you. What do you mean? You weren't able to remember any of us. They gave you something to make you forget. What's that? Open! In the name of the Emperor! Your Majesty has ordered that you be executed. Here and now. Stand aside. Obey, or your friends die with you. Steady, boy. Stand here. Friends, Flash. Your disappearance has startled them. I don't understand what you're talking about, Zarkov. I'm right here. What scared off the guards? Just a moment, my friend. You see... Of course I see. What are you driving at? Try to see yourself. Raise your hand before your eyes. I can't see my hand. I see right through it. Baron, Dale, what happened? What have you done to me, Zarkov? To save your life, I tried an experiment which proved successful. An experiment? I have discovered a ray which will render a human being invisible without harming it. I don't like it. <laughs> Bring him back again, Doctor. I want to see him alive. Don't worry, my dear. Your flesh has plenty of life. But since you insist on seeing him, Stand against the wall as you wear, Flash. What's taking so long, Zarkov? Flash! Ah, oh, you're a wizard, Doctor. You needed one just then, Flash, to save your life. Well, you not only saved my life, but you saved the lives of all of us. You know, if we all could become invisible, Ming would be helpless against us. There's only one drawback. I don't know as yet how long the person may remain invisible. Well, we have to find that out. True. But if anything should happen to the machine during the experiment, 
the invisible person might remain so forever. Let me take that risk. Make me invisible and no, I'll... No, no, Baron. You're a prince of the royal blood. I'll make the test. Besides, there's a little visit I'd like to make and see you. No, don't let him, Doctor. Now listen, if there's any chance to take, I'm the one to take it. Go ahead, Doc. Turn on the juice. Visible flash. An amazing demonstration. I feel no lessening of my power or strength. Say, Doc, don't let anything happen to that machine until I get back. Don't worry, Dale. I'll be back soon. The man disappeared before our eyes. You expect me to believe this impossible tale? I speak the truth, Your Majesty. My men will bear me out in this. Bring in Flash Gordon, dead or alive. If you fail, your life will be forfeited. Flash Gordon is here, Your Majesty, and very much alive. Unless you promise to release my friends, this is only a sample of what's in store for you. Coward! Are you going to stand there and let him kill me? A fortune to the one who... Well. I could take your worthless life, Ming. But because of your daughter, Prince Baron asked that your life be spared. Don't let him escape. Guard the door. off my friends. I shall be watching you always. You must do something, Father. You're in danger of losing your empire through the trickery of the Earth people. This is no trick, Your Majesty. It is the vengeance of the great god Teo. Teo is displeased. Lock up this babbling ape. Well, Your Majesty, I... Over the torch! Invisibility has been brought about by some contrivance invented by Dr. Sarkov in our own laboratory. There is no doubt about it, Your Majesty. This machine must be destroyed. But not until the Earthman has again become visible. I have preserved the life of this Earthman long enough because of your whims. Now I... But you can't find a man you cannot see. You are right. Leave them in the laboratory. I will find some means of overhearing their conversation. Give me a guard to help me. <laughs> All right, Doc. Show Bolton how it's done. Make me invisible, Doctor. <laughs> and I will give Emperor Ming such a five minutes he never had before. Oh. <laughs> they are calling. This time we may be able to get their message. Come. Zarkov calling New York. Zarkov calling the Earth. New York. Zarkov calling New York. Zarkov calling New York. Coming in more clearly now. Zarkov speaking from planet Mongo. Listen carefully. We have very little more sending power. Tell Professor Gordon his son Flash is with me. And it mongrel. It's the miracle of the ages. Quiet. Dale quiet. Arden also here. All in great danger. Gordon, your son lives. Your son lives, Gordon. Yes. Yes. And Zarkov has conquered space. The wave has faded. 
We must work fast and get the ship ready. Step into the machine, Flash. No, don't. No, don't worry, Dale. Come on, now. You are now invisible, Flash. your plan. Your Highness will stay here with Dale while we take the magazines to our ship. Watch will guard the invisibility machine closely. I don't know that I can restore Flash without it. Please hurry, Flash. I'll be back soon, Dale. We'll stand guard. Ready, gentlemen. What's the matter, Doc? Too heavy for you? <laughs> Step on it, Zarkov. I'm crowding up on you. Inform the Emperor. Tell him to send guards to capture Prince Baron and Dale. Then trap the others when they return. Now go. I'm worried about Flash. You needn't be. Invisible is equal to an army. He could go. Be careful. We're being watched. Every word we've spoken has been overheard. I must get you to a hiding place at once. But the machine. I'll come back and guard her. But if man gets hold of you now, he can force Flash to any terms. But if you... Come quickly. We're having a moment to spare. Where are you taking me? To a cave in the catacombs under the palace. Highness Princess Aura remains watching the laboratory. A strong body of men. We must prevent Sarkov and Dale Orton leaving the planet Mongo. And as for Flash Gordon... What is it? Prince Baron has taken Dale Orton to one of the caves in the catacombs. Find Dale Arden for you. Set your trap. Don't you dare touch that machine until Flash again becomes visible. Follow her plan. But remember, destroy Flash Garden instantly wherever you find it. Well, what is your answer? You set me a difficult task, Your Royal Highness. Prince Baron knows all the intricacies of the catacombs beneath the palace. Yes, he has taken her to one of the caves. There are hundreds of caves. That's why I've come to you. The sacred Tigran can follow a trail anywhere. We must have something that has been worn by the fugitive. Here is one of Dale Arden's sandals. This is a dangerous mission. Obey my command. You'll be all right here. No one can trace you through these tunnels. Well, when will you be back? Just as soon as they've warned the others that our plans were overheard. Now, don't worry. Everything will be all right. Dale. Baron. Gorn. Prince Baron. They must have been carried off. Wait. Baron wouldn't be taken without a fight. There's no sign of a struggle here. No, this job is one of craft, not a force. I see the hand of Princess Aura in this. Come on. Where's Flash Gordon? Right here. Stop them! Stop them! Barrett, 
Strangely, we must be near the girl. to the great god Teo to save us. Flash, you've killed him. Yes, I guess I got here just in time. to do this. I'm not accountable to you for my actions, Prince Baron. You cannot hope to win the regard of Flash Garden by destroying the woman he loves. I won the friendship of the Earth people by helping them. You should do the same. All right. We'll help them. The Earth man must be found, visible or not. Order the guards double at once. Should the Earth man return to visibility, destroy immediately the machine by which Dr. Sarkoff removed him from sight. Yes, Your Majesty. Seize him. Father, you must listen to me. Order your men to withdraw. If it were not for the love I bear your daughter, Princess Aura, I'd kill you. I am delighted to learn that you look with favor upon Prince Baron. I see no reason why we should not live in peace until such time as the Earth people return to their own sphere. No more trickery, Ming. Proclaim the Earth people free at once. Why should I not be glad to speed your return to Earth? Should I regret the departure of one who has thrown my entire kingdom into turmoil? Hmm. And now that you have chosen your brides, we can proceed with the festival we had planned. What about Dr. Zarkov and King Valton, whom we left in the laboratory? You can take them the news of their freedom. The machine. His Highness Emperor Ming has ordered the release of these prisoners. I do not believe you. This officer here will confirm what I say. The Earth Man speaks the truth. Now, if you gentlemen just step outside, I think you'll have more room in here. You'll be more comfortable out there. It's like we can't get away. Why, Zarkov, what happened? They have destroyed my invisibility machine. We won't need it again, will we? I'm not so sure about that. You are right. Ming is not to be trusted. 
We must leave here as soon as possible. It's time for communication with the air. return trip to Earth, preparing rocket ship. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's useless. Oh, if only their return trip is successful. Zarkov is a genius. He'll bring them back if such a thing is possible. That was swell, Doc. You have been talking to the Earth from which you came? You are a remarkable man, Dr. Zarko, and I regret your decision to leave us. Before we go, I'd like to make sure that Ming doesn't endanger the Earth again. We haven't gone yet. Instead of returning to the Earth immediately, why not come to my kingdom first? It's not a bad idea. How about it, Doc? There is some very special work that must be done immediately. Yes, Your Majesty. Select your cleverest men. Each member of the Earth Party must be watched constantly. Every move, every word must be observed. I agree with you. Your laboratory is even better for my work than this one. Communicate with Sun. We may need him. Baron! Are you not happy with your newfound freedom? We'll be happier when we're sure. I'm sure that Emperor Ming is sincere in his wish to be rid of him. You're right there, but it's how he wants to get rid of it that concerns me. It is best that we go to my kingdom. Oh, that would offend men. Why should it? You admit that he's made orders to get rid of us. This order also applies to Prince Baron and Princess Aura. You will act immediately. What do you think of the plan, Your Highness? I think they'd be much safer with King Valton. It shall be as you wish. I'll prepare my rocket ship for you. Our departure must be made secretly. I'll meet you with the ship outside the palace walls. I know just the place. The guardhouse at the Lake of Rocks. All right, Baron. Let us try to communicate with Sun. party with him. Where is he now? Preparing his ship. Are the others with him? No, Your Majesty. He is to meet them at the turret house at the Lake of Rocks. Good. I will have an excellent surprise for our friends. Prince <laughs> Tan, meet us at Walton's palace. We're leaving here at once. I will do as you ask. We'll be seeing it then, old boy. We must hurry. Prince Baron is waiting for us. Better hurry up. Must be 
parent ship. Why should Prince Baron do that? I don't know. I can't understand. He's circling to come back. Quick, sit on the cover. Is there any way out of this place? Yes, the trap door. That finishes Flash Gordon and his friends. You murder. Put him in the dungeon. Oh, boy, that was a lucky one. Yeah. You hurt, Bobby? Yes, he is hurt. We must get him out of here at once. Give me a hand, Doc. Up you go. You hear that? Why, it's Prince Baron. Prisoner. So he wasn't in the rocket ship after all. No. Come on, come on, back here, hide. Prisoner. We've got to get bought and get back to the laboratory. Come on. Is he all right, Doctor? He will be in a minute. I'll help Baron here with his chains. Work fast, Doctor. We're sure to be attacked. That's why I came here. I can find means to defend this place against attack. Your Majesty, the Earth people still live. They freed Prince Baron and have gone to the laboratory. Capture them at once. Prepare the execution chamber. Remains closed. Open at your peril. That will make our friends more cautious. The laboratory is electrified. We cannot force an entrance. I attempted to. And Use the ray gun. Destroy the door. Cut off the power that supplies the electric energy to the laboratory. Yes, Your Majesty. We can hold out indefinitely. The electric energy has been cut off. Destroy the door. Seize the prisoners. Mayor attack. Remain here and guard this door. That's the warning of an air attack. Space supply. Quick. The gyro ships. Order the fleet to meet the attack. Bring the prisoners from the laboratory to the throne room. Yes, Your Majesty. Jaro ships. Tommy and his men coming to help us. I hope they won't be too late. Emperor's order. Destroy the door and seize the prisoners. Easy, Let's draw your men. These people are 
under my protection. I'm sorry, Your Royal Highness. My orders are from the Emperor. Your Majesty, the prisoners are here. Bring them in. I will let them witness the destruction of their friend, Thun, and his people. chosen to consort with traitors, you shall share their fate. Perhaps you would like to see what happened to those who dare dispute my power. You're losing, Your Majesty. Better make terms while you can. If I lose, you and your friends will never live to see it. Take the prisoners at once to the Tunnel of Terror. It's Thug and his lion men. is gone. Come on! Oh, oh Lord Dave, you're safer here. of the great god Tao, from which no man returns. There's nothing we can do here, Baron. We better go back to the temple. Present! Forward! idea of returning to the earth. We will try to make you happy here. But your highness, my work will not be completed until I again reach the earth. Dr. Zarkov is right. For the benefit of science, we must return. Assure the people of the earth they need never fear another attack from the planet Mongo. Thanks, Baron. I know you are both going to be very happy. And I'm sure you and Flash will be happy too. Oh, Baron, goodbye. Good luck. Done? 
Bolton. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Live to reach the earth or not, Flash and Dale found happiness. Flash Gordon, Flash Gordon, calling the earth. Flash Gordon, calling the earth from the rocket ship. Stand by to help us. Zarkov asks, kill all electrical power. Kill all electrical power that may counteract ours. Professor Hensley, broadcast in order to shut down all generators at once. Flash, Dave, we won. We made it. We're about to land. 